Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about home decor trends that are expected to be very popular this coming year 2022. The first one, and this may come as a shock, but closed floor plans are expected to start trending. I know I stopped liking the open floor concept back in high school when I was living in a house with six people and the living room couch was right next to the kitchen. It was so hard to hear the TV or even get in a good nap. And with everyone spending more time at home, they'll need to find some space apart. Now, this is also why, number two, home bars and gyms will be increasingly more popular. They used to be more common in mansions and dream homes, but as we spend more time at home, they're becoming a necessity. And they're not always hidden down in the basement anymore. Three, sometime throughout the past couple of years, gray became the new black. If you want to sell your house quickly, have everything be a medium to dark gray and white. And I've said this before, but houses today are literally puking gray. Okay, not literally, but you get the idea. This has been going on for a while, and unfortunately, I don't see it leaving anytime soon. But maybe you can throw in just a little pop of color, just to give us some feeling. Now, with that being said, number four, an increasingly popular trend right now is the 60s and 70s home decor. It is making its way back. So you have your browns, your dark reds, and your oranges, your corduroy and velvet furniture, the round terracotta vases. Now, these can either be used for flowers or as a lamp vase. You can expect to see a lot more wood come back on the floors, on the walls, and even some accent pieces. But hopefully, those hideous couches will stay in the past. Now, RC furniture kind of goes along with that 60s and 70s theme. Homeowners used to go for the clean, modern look with the sleek, straight angled furniture. However, now they're expecting to see more curvy furniture make its way to the top this year. It gives off a little bit more of a comfortable and inviting feel. Speaking of those 60s and 70s hippies, nature is also becoming more popular, bringing the outdoors inside. It used to be considered a little hippie-ish to have plants all over the house, but as we become more mindful of our carbon footprints, we are finding more ways to be efficient and to help keep our world clean. Which brings me to our last trend, number seven, sustainability. Recycled and reusable items are becoming more popular every year, which I love. Personally, I always try to limit the amount of plastic and paper that I am using. Now, this year, we are expecting to see homes with less waste and more efficient options, such as reusable napkins, solar panels, energy efficient appliances, you know, things like that. COVID changed a lot, the way we communicate, work, shop, even the way we think. This world has become even more virtual and electronic and it will continue to do so. As we spend more time at home, homeowners need more indoor space and more of their private outdoor space. Now we don't really need as many conveniences like we did before, especially since most restaurants, bars, and stores are shortening their hours or closing their doors all together. And all of this is giving us even more flexibility in where we choose to live, making more space a necessity. So maybe it's time to upgrade, buy that vacation home, spend a year abroad or in the city, buy property with more land, or invest in a rental property for a little extra income. Airbnbs are really big right now, and I do plan on doing a different video on that soon, so stay tuned. But it's always a good time to try something new and fulfill a dream. Are there any of these trends that you are looking forward to or are there any that you are dreading? <laughs> Let us know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with someone you know that could use the information. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy, and trust your realtor.